Here's another example you may not know that all these broccoli, cauliflower, collard greens, uh, kurabi, Brussels sprouts, kale, and cabbage all came from the same wild plant. Look like this, right? The Brassica olorosea. And so this is what it started out with. But people, but when they started planting, domesticating the plant, doing the farms, they get to pick what seeds they plant, the traits they want. They managed to make the broccoli and the cauliflower and the Brussels sprouts all from the same plant. Life changing over time by being artificially selected what traits pass, get passed to the next generation. And over time, it changed. So these, you go to the, the store, none of those plants, or very few of them, there might be some, but very few of those plants are how they existed in their wild form. They've all been sort of altered by human selective breeding artificial selection the tomatoes these big juicy old things this is what the wild tomato was this is what the tomato came from life changing over time cattle when you're talking about cows and stuff like that these milk cows look at that enormous udder that it has the dairy cow that wouldn't be able to survive in the wild but the, when it came from, the aurochs, with, and these guys were tough, right? These guys could fight off wolves and stuff. Now the domestic cow has been bred to be docile. You know, just hang around. <laughs> Can you imagine a, a, a dairy cow trying to survive in the wild, but being surrounded by wolves? Like, oh, better watch out. There's wolves over there. You know, they wouldn't be able to run away with that big old thing. So anyway, dog breeds, again, is a great example. It started out from the wolf. But by human beings selectively choosing which traits they want, could turn it into all these different breeds. There's the Pomeranian I was talking about a minute ago. Okay, the Greyhound, the Poodle, Dalmatian, you name it. The Dachshund is a great example. You know where the Dachshund, that came from Germany, the long wiener dogs, right? They, that was so they could go down and get badgers, right? Dach is German for badger. And so they were bred for that. Those little short legs and long thing. That's what they were bred for. And so what Charles Darwin realized is that we know you can change things over time by selecting uh, the traits that will be passed to the next generation. What if nature does the same thing? What if nature chooses uh, what survives and by how well it fits with its environment? Survival of the fittest, it's sometimes called, right? Which one fits the best? And so natural selection, life changing over time by nature selecting who will get to breed. So again, this is he, what Darwin discovered. This concept of adaptation, it should be pretty obvious that if you have a tiger that's born, you know, with like tiny little teeth, it's probably not going to survive as well as one with long teeth, right? And so how well it's adapted to survive in its particular environment and ecosystem will determine if it survives. And that will determine if it passes its traits to the next generation. That's actually, by the way, you know, we have this human life, this, I shouldn't say human life cycle, every living thing has it, except for maybe the immortal jellyfish, but even it has the life cycle. Um, th we're designed to live for a little while and then replace ourselves because that way life can adjust to a changing ecosystems, right? It can adjust, it can evolve uh, to fit in with uh, uh, any changes in, I don't know, you know climate or, or, or whatever. So Darwin's finches, this is called adaptive radiation. It starts out with the, the common finch from South America, must have landed on the Galapagos Islands with enough breeding uh, uh, pairs to survive there. So you had males and females and stuff. And they started having babies. And the babies that could survive best on that island with their beak shape would pass that beak shape on to the next generation. And again, I can't say this enough times. The whole thing depends on passing the traits to the next generation.